His Excellency Yoel Kaguta Museveni has urged Japanese manufacturing companies to set up more industries in Uganda aiming to move away from the practice of importing raw materials but instead add value on products like coffee. Which I gave to Mr. Abe. Mm -hmm. Exporting raw materials is one of them. Mm -hmm. But there are others. Uh, infrastructure. Mm -hmm. There were also mistakes by the Africans themselves. Mm -hmm. So, but if we are dealing with the G7, mm -hmm. if, I, I think you have done some good work in Southeast Asia. Mm -hmm. Now come here. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, they have graduated already. So. <laughs> and then also mm -hmm. share this with the others. Mm -hmm. yeah. Because what is true of coffee mm -hmm. is for everything. Is for all other things. Yeah, yeah. President Museveni also took the mantle to seek companies for car battery production due to Uganda's abundant lithium and increasing electric vehicle usage showcase at Kira Motors. The Japanese Foreign Affairs Minister expressed desire to strengthen bilateral relations with Uganda in line with the G7 presidency emphasis on direct communication with Africa. They pledged ongoing support for Uganda's health sector and showed growing interest in Ugandan startups committing to help them flourish. Moreover, Japanese companies promised to explore the possibility of manufacturing car batteries in response to President Museveni's request. Not the people outside, but people in Uganda should gain more income by doing all those things. For that, uh, uh, the, uh, uh, we are trying our utmost effort and also on the top of that, if you are doing so many efforts, also at the same time you need to have some healthy society. So if you get uh, ill, <laughs> you cannot work very hard. So uh, we decided to conduct a project for improvement of medical equipment at the uh, regional referral hospital. Mm. So we will continue this kind of cooperation for universal health coverage so that people doesn't have to worry about those days in the air, or they cannot work, but they can come back from the air to a uh, working place or uh, not worrying too much about that. And also, the, now the Japanese uh, companies are becoming more interested in Uganda's uh, companies, especially in the startups. So 